are a champion, it doesn't get much better than that. Yet you carry your fame with so much humility. Don't you at least sometimes feel like shouting about it at the top of your lungs? For me, it's really about playing the tournaments. And um, I just have so much passion for the game that uh, everything else that I do comes as a bonus. But what's most important for me is that I know my own self and uh, my family, my friends, my team, they really keep me grounded. They've known me way before I'm all my achievements and uh, I never feel that I need to be anything more than myself. You know, being the most <laughs> decorated sports icon of our generation, <laughs> you have broken a succession of remarkable records to date. Thanks. What's your secret? I am really fortunate to get so much appreciation back in Malaysia from the general public and um, sometimes I find it hard to believe uh, that I get that because I'm just doing what I love and I achieve my own goals along the way. Uh, and I do feel that I owe it to the country to uh, give back to them something um, just because they've given me so much support uh, all throughout my career uh, to get me where I am right now. When I was younger, I used to play with anybody. When you want to be good at something, you can't do it on your own. So my coaches have been a tremendous value uh, in my achievements and my, in my career. They give me so much feedback and I listen to them all the time. But I don't just listen, I just absorb all the information that they give me. And uh, it's really exciting just stepping on court and getting more insights of the game. If the body and the mind is willing, then I'm just going to keep going and keep pushing myself to the limit and just enjoy it at the same time. Being a legend, is somebody born a legend or do you train yourself to become one? In other words, your achievements, is it more talent or hard work? To be a legend, it takes both talent and hard work. It's not a given because um, all legends are made. It only comes with a lot of discipline, dedication to your training and sacrifices to stay on, on track and focus to the task at hand. You hit the ball in just the right way, at yeah. just the right time. Is that strategic planning, strategic thinking, or is that more instinct, intuition? Practicing and planning is so important, but at the end of the day, your brain does not tell you what goes on, but it's um, your gut, your real instinct that just predicts what happens. And only then the skill kicks in and then you execute your shot really well. That moment when everything comes together is just the most fulfilling experience you can imagine. Squash for you, I think, is in any case not just about physical prowess. I read somewhere that mm -hmm. you're, you're, you believe that it can be a cat catalyst in changing lives and yeah. improving lives. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, I feel strongly uh, about improving the lives of people who are in disadvantaged areas. I've seen firsthand in Malaysia uh, the challenges that uh, they face in the rural areas uh, during my mission trips as a UNDP Google Ambassador. I just know that with squash, it's a complete sport, aside from the fact that it gives you a healthy lifestyle. It develops the determination to rise above challenges. Just by joining the humanitarian organizations such as the Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, I, I'm able to share my passion was for sport and I am by providing education and coaching to young people in, the, in challenged and deprived environments around the world. Things have been great for you career-wise, but yeah. are all areas of your life that stellar? Yeah, I'm actually lucky enough that I got through school um, quite well, even while I was competing. But straight after high school, I really just focused on playing squash full time. It was really tough to move out of Malaysia, but the only way to actually do improve my game is to be in Amsterdam, to train here with my coach Liz Irving, who is so influential and has so much experience behind her. Um, but yeah, it's not, uh, not an easy task. Um, my family, my friends are all back home and I have to sacrifice my time away from them. And uh, I do miss them a lot, but it, it does get tough at times. Uh, by the end of the day, they are supporting me from afar and I can feel their presence there with me when I, when I know they are just there cheering me on. <laughs>
making it as a girl in a man's world, for let's face it, you know, mm -hmm. sports is still a male-dominated domain. Yeah. How has that been for you? When I was um, growing up, I was the smallest kid, you know, uh, playing squash, and everybody I played was either bigger or older than me, and I can't match their strength. But what I do know is that I have my own strength that I can work on, and that was my speed. Just knowing going into the court, and I'm, the small, I'm small and I'm a girl, but I know I can still beat anyone if I put my mind to it. I entered a 2K run at home in my hometown mm. with these boys and girls, mm. and um, I actually managed to win the race. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow, so that was. So I think that moment was such a great experience for me because it gave me the, the thought that if I want to win anything, I just give it my all, really. You know how everybody's talking these days about mm. globalization, yeah. and actually I do not believe that it's only an economical or political type of phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. I think we're globalizing on an individual level. Yeah, exactly. We're expanding our skills, expanding our values, yeah. we're growing our knowledge continuously. Mm. Take you, for example, you're not only a sports icon or a humanitarian, you also have some pretty interesting hobbies. <laughs> yes, I actually do like drawing and doodling. I like design and that's one of my passions, uh, apart from sport and squash. Mm. I even tried glass blowing oh, when, wow. <laughs> when I was in Amsterdam uh, because I just have a fascination with glass and its mm. form and mm. I just want to see how they actually get this yeah. put together. And maybe someday, my dream is to have my own art gallery. Thank you, Nicole, for taking the time today and for being here with us.